Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Shah Abbas. Uh, I am in Imam Hussein TV, uh, sitting right close to Abu Fazl Abbas Shrine, where I can see while we're recording this show. And we've got Imam Hussein on the on the left hand side. So today is um, the 11th of November uh, that we're recording this show, and it's a day after Arba'in. Uh, it's a very humbling experience to be uh, on the show and uh, presenting the name of Hussein al -Salam. So today's show is quite unique. Uh, we're going to be talking about um, what has Imam Hussein inspired, who has Imam Hussein inspired. A number of organizations have been inspired uh, by, Imam, by Imam Hussein al -Salam. And one of the One of the organizations that has been inspired is an organization that goes by the name of Who is Hussein? Um, it's an interesting organization, uh, which uh, Alhamdulillah I'm part of as well. And uh, we have our guest, uh, Malahat, and, and she's uh, basically from America. So Malahat, we're going to start by introducing yourself. So tell me about yourself, a little, little bit about you, and what brings you to Karbala today? Well, I came here for the walk, yeah. walk from Madrid to Karbala to, to pledge my allegiance, to show my devotion to Hussein. Yeah. Um, I'm a mother of four, I do a lot of social work and volunteer work in the school. And that's pretty much how I keep myself busy. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Uh, Sister Malahat, uh, you do volunteer uh, for the organization, which is Who is Hussein? I do. So what drives you to volunteer for this organization? Um, it is it is this need to want to present him to the world. There are billions of people out there, okay. non-Muslims, who are not aware of him, of his personality, of, of his legacy, of, of the values that he stood for. And just like there are so many other people that people love, uh, Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa, uh, who are loved, admired, respected, regardless of culture and religion. Um, we feel that Hussein needs to be up there, admired and respected and known for what he was. Absolutely. I think one of the things what Imam Hussein um, has done has, has inspired millions. Mm -hmm. Let's take this walk for an example. I think people all over the world, I don't have the exact numbers right now, but um, there was me there was media going, some said about uh, 18 million, 20 million, some said it was on a reach of 25, 30 million. I don't have the exact stats because it's literally a day after Arba'in, inshallah, when the stats gets released out, we should have um, a, a better idea. This man, Hussein ibn Ali, uh, 1400 years ago, made a stand against injustice. He said no. Uh, he made a stand against oppression. He said no. He made a stand for equality. He made a stand for the people needy. He, his lifely principles is what Hussein Hussain is about to, to showcase the world that the principles that Imam Hussain goes by. And uh, the lively principles, so the aims and objectives of the organization itself, um, which we're going to talk about, is, is, is a more about doing the right actions, doing the lively principles what Imam Hussain has done, um, inspiring the people around them. Um, and also the, the other objective as well is to, why doing that is to, is to promote the name of Imam Hussain al Islam mm -hmm. to, to the, the wider audience that hasn't been aware of. Uh, so today, today we are on this show. Um, the objective for today's show is for recruitment for volunteers and um, recruitment in regards to uh, volunteers in your local country, your local cities. Uh, and also, if you are looking to donate, please feel free to donate. And also, if uh, you want to find out more, our website will be on that uh, shortly. Is whoishussein.org. Uh, so Malakat, so you you are from America. You're from Texas. I am. Um, so tell me more about what uh, the Texas Who's Hussein team does. Um, Texas does um, annual blood drives, annual uh, homeless dinners. Um, we have. Um, gotten together with a lot of other bigger non-profit organizations and we, we work with them during their annual events. Um, our past big independent individual event was uh, Together for Texas, okay. where after Hurricane Harvey um, there was a drastic need for help all okay. across the board and our volunteers got together. Um, even on Eid Day we went there and spent hours uh, sorting donations, taking donations okay. over. Um, and we did set up a GoFundMe page oh, with, wow. a, with a goal of $10,000 which we exceeded. Um, and we took the check to Houston in person to deliver to the mayor. Um, we happened to have three minutes to speak on the city hall uh, floor. Yes, I think that's a video and that went was, viral. It, yes. it did. Um, and we spoke in front of the council members and the mayor and it was very well received by public in general. Okay. So what was the atmosphere like once that was done? What was the atmosphere like between, within our community, within the Shia community? What was the atmosphere like within the non-Shia community? 
I think Hussein just brings everybody together. When we start doing community work in his name, he is so inspiring. His personality is just draws you to do more, to give more, to to give as much of yourself as you can. And when people, we've had children come in and drop quarters, and we've had elderly citizens come in and put whatever they could. Uh, it was a small collective grassroots effort, and it makes everybody come together in his name, and and own the organization, own the, the you know the imperative, the the mission, and uh, it did. It made our spirit soar to see what it. You I, know. I think I think the the, the 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 Shia community, the wider Shia community in in, in the world, they, they have uh, kept Imam Hussein al Islam to ourselves, mm, yes. and um, we we know of Imam Hussein al Islam in in the mosques, in the Imam Bargas, or or, or in our local madrasas. Uh, but the aims, objective of Hus Hussein as an organization itself, is to get that. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful man, the beautiful things that he has done in his life, and uh, understands that he's made to the wider world, is to share him uh, and making who's the same. And he is a universal figure, and people don't see that. I'm talking about non Muslims who right. don't see that. And is, this organization aim is a to inspire the communities, the, the people around them, to do the right thing, which is the blood donations, which is feeding the homeless, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, 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 take, making a stand when the, 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 the hurricane mm -hmm. that hit uh, uh, in Texas. Imam Hussein Islam has inspired people to do that. What Hus Hussein wants to do is when things like that happen, Imam Hus Hussein is in upfront and taking actions to do it, while doing that, telling the world about Imam Hussein mm -hmm. Islam. So, my dear brothers and sisters, um, if you're watching this and you want to get involved with this organization, you want to know more please visit our website, which is whoishussain.org. And you can email us. The email is uh, world, W-O-R-L-D, at whoishussain.org. So please uh, get involved. So we've got about 80 different uh, reps mm -hmm. all over the world. So we are in America, uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Canada, UK, London. In UK, we've got in London. Uh, we've got in Africa, we've got states in Africa. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got Nairobi, um, South Africa, I mean, you can name it, India and Pakistan. We're going to go into some stats in a minute. We're going to talk about the bigger things that we have done. But I want to come back to, uh, to yourself, uh, Malahat, again. So, do you think there's a need for Hus Hussain in this world? Most definitely, most definitely. I think the inspiring figure that he is, if people have him in his life to look up to, um, whether they're up or down in their lives, um, he gives strength. Um, his actions, his, his legacy that he's left behind gives you personal strength. Hope. He gives Definitely people hope. Definitely hope. He does. He gives people hope. He gives people a reason to continue and to give back because I think it, he brings out compassion in us. Yeah, because when absolutely. you see what he did for others, not just for himself, it makes you want to give back exactly. as well. Exactly. I think one of the things as well is uh, when we have young people, uh, I'm talking the Western world, or, or people ask you, why are you going to Iraq to mm -hmm. do the Najaf to Karbala war? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? People are not used to the idea right. of walking from Rajav to Karbala and people don't know what is Arbaeen. Mm -hmm. People don't know why we're doing what we're doing. And it's quite, so there are people out there, um, including myself, that we struggle to explain that mm -hmm. to the, to, to the non-Muslims. So we can't really, we don't know how to tell an individual who doesn't know or understand about what we're doing. So communication is quite key. So this is something that Hus is in is quite, uh, he's been doing it for a while now, mm -hmm. and inshallah hope to be good at this, <coughs> is communicating the name of Imam Hussain yes. in a dialect, in a way that people can understand it. Uh, for example, um, when we're, there's, in, in London, um, there's food drives that happen in, in, mm -hmm. in Charing Cross, where the for, they've been doing it for the last couple of years now. And the objective for uh, the food drives in London is to, number one, is feed the needy. Yes. That's what Imam Hussein said to Jews, like mm -hmm. look after the people and need. His father did the exact same thing, look after the orphans. Mm -hmm. And again, grandfather, uh, Prophet Muhammad as well. Who's this in London uh, have been feeding the homeless for the last couple of years uh, on a weekly basis. Uh, they're doing CV workshops as well, mm -hmm. which, is, which is good. It's not about just feeding them. As you said earlier on, hope, yes. giving people that <laughs> hope. It is to just step up when you're needed, regardless of who needs it. Uh, if you look at Flint, Michigan, when they had a water yeah. issue, um, the representatives there just 
purchased as many crates of water as they could and they actually just put it in their car and they drove over. Yeah. And then of course online they did fundraising which received, I don't know, a very good amount of money for water to be delivered to people of Flint. It is regardless of where they are, who they come, you know, if they know Hussein or not even. Exactly. Um, the point is not to make sure to only help those who know Hussein or who admire Hussein already. The point is to bring him to those who do not know him and inspire them with the knowledge absolutely. and the, the values that he brings. Uh, no, ab absolutely. That, that, that's, that's the most important part itself. So the, the other part itself is getting the whole communities involved. So mm -hmm. here's the thing, I think the, the thing I like about Hussein personally is it's not just a Shia organization. No, it's, not, it's not. It's not. Who's the same doesn't say Shia or is this Muslim mm -hmm. or it's not, it's universal. Who's the same is a humanitarian organization. Mm -hmm. It is an organization that has been uh, established purely a number one main objective is to do good, mm -hmm. to do feed the people in need, mm -hmm. feed the homeless, do medical procedures on people that in need. For example, we've had um, people from Iraq that got flown into India. Uh, for the heart surgeries. Mm -hmm. um, we've had people in Lebanon donating blood. So in Lebanon, they've broken records of getting they people did. to donate blood. We've had, um, we've had Michigan, as you said earlier mm -hmm. on. We've had Texas, you said, as, as you know. We've got in India, they've, had, they, they, they've fed about over 100,000 people. Massive scales. Mm -hmm. Absolutely humbling. It brings communities together. No. It does. The aims of the organization itself is once we are once we are presenting the Imam Hussein, we are working with Muslims and non-Muslims alike together. And we're not telling the people that it's, it's an Islamic organization. Mm -hmm. It's not. Imam Hussein was not just for Muslims. It was not just for Shia Muslims. Imam Hussein, Hussein ibn Ali, the grandson of Prophet Muhammad, was for everyone. He was a universal figure. People know, as you said, Mandela, Malcolm X, Gandhi. People know that. But the, peop the person inspiring these these figures was Hussein ibn Ali, yes. the grandson of Prophet Muhammad, right? Yes, uh, Nelson Mandela writes that when he was in the prison, after 20 odd years, he was close to giving up. Yeah. And when the government was asking him to sign all the papers, yeah. and then he thought of Hussein and how he did not give up, and that he drew strength from that, and he continued, and we all know what Absolutely. happened in history. I, I think I think the the, the best part is of having Hussein. Is, is inspires the, the political figures in mm -hmm. the history, has, has inspired. Also, most important, is inspire the volunteers, inspires young people, inspires the youth to getting them involved. I'm talking like when I was 16, 17, I would just go play video games like in my house, and you said you've got children yourself. Mm -hmm. um, when I was young, I used to play video games, spend my time in the house, and not really do much. But having who's the center around where I can go out and serve the needy. Yes, I'm serving the needy, but that also I'm having having fun. I'm mm -hmm. enjoying my time by mm -hmm. doing the right things of a little bit. I'll tell you a story. Um, when we had last year, when we were focusing on the refugees because yeah. of so much political stigma around it, um, we did that whole Ramadan was focused on refugees. Yes. And, um, in Texas, there are a lot of Muslim refugees, so we did an iftar dinner, and then we also did goodie bags for the children. We made around 250 goodie bags. Um, and when we arrived there with all of our materials to make the goodie bags, uh, we didn't have too many volunteers mm. um, showing up. And uh, it was actually at our center after hours. And uh, there was a, a seminar a session going on, and the kids, it was all 12 and under. No way. Who ended up coming, and at first we were we were wondering, are they going to sneak out some candy out of there, or you know, uh, <laughs> we like keep an eye on them. But they were tirelessly. The session was over. Their mothers Amazing. were waiting, saying, "Be done, be done." And those twenty odd kids made those two hundred and fifty bags. Amazing. Amazing. Filled them up. They were so excited. The spirit of giving at that time. They were infused with that spirit. Amazing. Of giving. Amazing. It was it's inspiring the people. It's inspiring mm -hmm. the world. And that's what Hussein Ibn Ali has done. The bigger picture itself is just to do that in a. In a, a in, in, in a maximum capacity and be more efficient as we can. Right now, as I was saying, we're in 80 different cities, mm -hmm. but we are looking to expand. And hence the reason why Hussein said decided to come to uh, the lands of Karbala. Um, a couple of days ago, we had a, a stall uh, on our way, way to Najaf to mm -hmm. Karbala. The idea for the stall was the, all those people that are walking from making that spiritual journey from, from one city to the, the holy lands of Karbala, mm -hmm. We want to speak to those people and say, hey, would you be interested in finding out more about who's the saint? Would you like to volunteer? Mm -hmm. We met individuals. I'll share you a story that I met. I met an individual from Indonesia. 
Mm. And he came, he said, I saw a picture of Huz Hussain on Instagram. I liked it and I said, I want to go. And I just left my group <laughs> early. Wow. I paced myself so I can come and talk to you guys. And so I know how to volunteer. And he had to make that journey. And well, then he said, I am looking forward for the email. Please send us. That is so That's amazing. humbling. It is. Humbles the organization. And when people around them are inspired by me, a man called Hussain Ibn Ali. So my dear brothers and sisters, again, um, I urge, if you're not part of this organization and you would like to be part of it, uh, please visit our website, which is whoishussain.org. Uh, you can email us, which is world at whoishussain.org. So we're going to talk about a couple more things uh, before we wrap up. And one of the things that I want to talk about was the events that happened, the bigger events that mm -hmm. got they caught the media's attention. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, the world that we live in, uh, the media reflects on the bad things mm -hmm. about things happen, and and again, they don't see the good qualities of what the people want to do. So, who's this in London? They did an event in in London, um, it's feeding the homeless, CV workshop, and also cutting the people's homeless people's hair. So, yes, the aim yes. of that aim of the event was is to restore honor mm -hmm. and hope and humanity mm -hmm. for the forgotten ones of London, mm -hmm. right? Give them dignity, mm -hmm. okay? I'll share myself. If I get a haircut and taking a shower, after a haircut, I feel so fresh. Mm -hmm. I feel so good about myself. And that's the feeling that we wanted to give um, mm -hmm. the, 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 the volunteers to, uh, the, uh, to, to the homeless people. And they did it. And they recorded a Facebook Live and that video over multiple streams went over 10 million views. So in theory, 10 million people have seen the name of Mam Hussain, mm -hmm. which is who is Hussain organization. So that is a huge step for people. Again. Michigan, again, you said earlier on, as they did donate water, they got mentioned in press, they got mm -hmm. mentioned in the media. And so does, uh, so, so does the, the thing that you did yourself. You got a lot of media attention, didn't you? Um, we did well on, on social media at least on Facebook. We did get a lot of attention. Um, we um, after we set up our uh, GoFundMe page, we set up a goal of ten thousand dollars, exceeded it, and went and delivered it. And um, I think the video made rounds on WhatsApp as well, the uploaded video, but on Facebook as well. A lot of people shared it, mentioned it, tagged who is the same. Um, it did receive a lot of attention, and I think I hope it touched a lot of people. It did. It touched me. It inspired me. I think, do you know what that reminds me of? I think it's, uh, you deserve to know this. Is it reminds me, uh, 1400 years ago, uh, after the day of Ashura, um, when Imam Hussain's sister, um, Lady Zena, made that exact similar speech uh, in, in the presence of Yazid, the dictator of that time, and she said, do you know who Hussein is? Do you really know who Hussein is? And, the, uh, he's, and do you know who Prophet Muhammad is? And this is my religion. This is my... So I think um, uh, you inspire, um, the world, um, you inspired um, us here, absolutely. So I think thank you very much for doing what you did. Please can speak it's consistent been an honor. and doing what you've been doing and for a longer perspective itself. And the future for the Who's the Saint itself is yourself. You are the future. We've done things so far. So let me give you some stats what Who's the Saint has achieved. So number one, we've collected over two thousand units for blood so that saves about six thousand people's lives that's incredible mm -hmm. and also it's, we've, we've fed about over two hundred thousand people now i'm not just telling you the numbers because we need to show these numbers it's, it's an act of kindness it's an act of charity it's called sadhika jaria so once we share these achievements that jose Zen has done it should inspire you it should inspire the world who's watching this to see how can you be part of this movement how could you get involved you should get involved. Why you should get involved? Number one, as a man, Hussein Ibn Ali made a stand against injustice, made, made a stand for equality, made a stand for self-giving, self-righteousness. And every day we always say, I wish I was there on the lands of Karbala 1400 years ago. But guess what? You are there right now. So you are here right now. Play your part. Mm -hmm. You get involved. Visit our website. Who is Hussein.org? Email us world at who is Hussein.org. Now, before before we before we wrap it up, I do want to take some time to to thank you uh, for thank coming you. on the show and thank Imam Hussein TV as well for having us on. Mm -hmm. And it humbles us to be on the Truly. show when we have 
Do you want to add something? Uh, I just want people to know that if you want to step up and do something, it does not have to be on a grand scale. We started very small. It's a small grassroots movement. If you just bake cookies and take them to the park and pass them out as an act of kindness inspired by Hussein, that is a big step in itself. It does not have to be something that involves a lot of money or even a lot of time or a lot of people. It can be just you and your family doing your bit. Absolutely. I think every little help, little drops of water makes a mighty ocean. Mm -hmm. It's the ripple effect. You drop a water in a pebble, the waves come across. The idea is, my dear brothers and sisters, make that first stand, mm -hmm. make the first step, just the way Hussein Ibn Ali did. Thank you for coming over and uh, God bless you. And if you would like to get involved, again, the website is whoishussein.org and the email address is world at whoishussein.org. Thank you very much uh, from Mahmoud Hussain TV. Stay tuned for the office.